today I want to take a look at the official Readwise LogSeq plugin, how you can install it, as well as set up the export settings to work with your own LogSeq graph so that you can have pages that export that look like this, where you have your metadata already here with all your highlights without any funkiness going on within your system. So first go up to the three little dots here, click plugins, and then go to the marketplace and you can search for Readwise. There are two, there's the unofficial and the official plugin. You wanna go ahead and click install on the official one. And then when you do that, you'll have a few settings that you can select. You can have it automatically sync whenever LogSeq loads up. I have that one turned on. And then you can also have it to resync deleted pages. So if you were to delete a page that got exported from Readwise in your LogSeq graph, if you had this enabled, the next time it synced, it would re-add that page to your graph. So I like to turn that one off so that when I decide to delete a page because it wasn't useful for whatever reason, I don't have to go to Readwise to delete it in a second place to not have it come in to my system. You can also do a initiate sync manually, but then the main thing that you wanna look at is how to customize your exports so that they work well with your graph. So if you click the little customize button, it will take you right to the LogSeq export page, which you can also get to if you go to your Readwise account, click export, and then you can click the LogSeq configuration here. So you wanna make sure, number one, that you have the use custom formatting enabled. And then there's a few things that I have set up here to have it play nice with LogSeq. Sometimes titles will have periods in them or hashtags or slashes. All of this makes a mess when it comes to tagging and namespaces within LogSeq. So I just have my title set up to replace all of those characters with a blank result so it doesn't cause any any weirdness same thing with the highlighted text here i remove those number signs those hashtags so i'm not inadvertently creating tags within my logseq graph so what i will do is i will put a link down in the description below to my website where you can copy all of this export settings so that you can paste it into your own readwise uh, configuration so that you can try it out for yourself with LogSeq. But the goal for me is to have a system where my pages come in looking like this. I have them tagged with the status for inbox. I'm not inadvertently creating any namespaces or tags within my system. And then that way, when I'm at my home page, I can have a query set up that just queries for that inbox tag. So everything gets funneled here for me to be able to process and create notes from. So that is all for this short little video showing you how to use the LogSeq Readwise plugin. If you found anything useful or have any other tips or tricks for how you use the Readwise integration with LogSeq, let me know down in the comments below and I will see you all next time.